So the power supply for my ART-13 failed about three weeks ago. Specifically, the high voltage power supply went bad. There was a short and it blew the breaker. Any power supply that's capable of 2000 volts at a half an amp, constant output is a dangerous supply to deal with. I'm gonna to have to be extra careful troubleshooting this high voltage power supply. This supply has served faithfully for the last 35 years, powering the ART-13. It's been babied. There's a relay that turns it on 40 seconds after the low voltage 28 volts comes on. And I always use the Variac to bring it up from zero. So it's not been abused. But as you can see, everything is aged. There's no better uh, judge of your early work than you at an older age. And I can see lots of problems where I've screwed up there's no grommets on those. Look at these wires coming right through the chassis. Uh, the wires coming through. These are all brittle. Even the AC wires are brittle. This is a horrible condition. It's a miracle it lasted this long without burning down the house. Doesn't anybody believe in using grommets? Bringing high voltage leads through bare holes in the chassis? That's not a very good idea. So high voltage power supplies are, of course, tricky and dangerous, especially ham-built supplies from the 70s. And, you know, you generally want to stay out of them. But if you stay out of them too long, bad things can happen because there's a lot of heat that builds up in a supply like this. You know, you have wires. This is just a power cord. Yeah, not good. This is going back to God here. Yeah. So consider just about everything that's in this supply needs to be looked at. All the caps, all the diodes, all the resistors, and of course, all the wires.